guys, right now we are in the basement, the third basement level of B3 of the Ion Shopping Mall here in Singapore. It's Elvin Mark here, welcome to my art channel. I make art wherever I am on location. Welcome to Singapore, hope you guys are doing well. Oh, I need to scan out first. There we go. This is the counter of One Ethical on the 4th floor of Ion, the shopping mall. And this is the starting point of how to get up to the Sky Lounge. There is an elevator or lift that will bring you up to the top. some coffee here at Ion Sky. It's my first time here. It's 55 stories above Orchard Road here at the Ion Shopping Mall complex part of it. Uh, it's my first time here so I don't know what to expect. Don't know if I'm able to hang out here long to make some sketches um, but I've got a ticket to come in for a free coffee so guys enjoy this. Ooh my ears Ah, we're here. How about that, guys? <laughs> this place here is incredible. If you're around the Orchard Road area, do come on up. What a magnificent view. Um, I get to see Fort Canning. Uh, Marina Bay Sands, of course the Istana um, and, and parts of Orchard Road that I've never seen before from this vantage point. From up here you can see the southern islands of Singapore, you can even see Batam and parts of Indonesia from here. Over on the other side you can actually see Malaysia also. <sighs> Breathtaking. Um, Oh yeah, and I can also see my house from there, and your house too. with the two radio antennas. You've seen that before. Um, and way, way, way over there, it's really misty today. Way past the first antenna here, second one, and way back there, a hint of Johor Bahru, which is part of Malaysia. Yeah, from here we can see that there are actually a lot of greens in Singapore, and the whole idea that government's making the city part of nature and not nature part of the city. Did I get it right? And uh, over here is the north eastern part of Singapore. I think my coffee is ready. Welcome to One Etico. This is a restaurant but where I will be is the lounge area. I ordered a passion fruit cake so I can stay up here a little longer. More details on how to get a spot up here in the description box down below. During the course of sketching this piece, it has inspired me to start up a new page for those of us who love sketching from rooftops. So if you would like to be a part of this page, do head over to Facebook and share your rooftop sketches. The link will be in the description box down below. It would be so inspiring to see your rooftop sketches from all over the world. Here I am into the sketch. 
I started by outlining the edges of important buildings and keeping in mind that almost everything sits on a grid, especially since this is a cityscape. Most of the horizontal lines of buildings should flow in the same direction. And of course, there will be a few buildings that are not confined to this grid-like structure. At this point, and most importantly, it's going to be like this for about 70% of the sketch. The more information you have on your paper or canvas, the easier it becomes. The toughest part of making massive or complicated sketches like these is the beginning. Where do I start? You choose what you think is the most important part of the scene is and you can move around in an outward fashion from there. And when you are at the beginning, your speed is the slowest as you are also using the time to estimate and analyze where to plot your lines on the paper or canvas. So don't rush through this segment take your time. Here we are at the 70% mark. Let's take a quick breather to see if everything is in place. It also gives me an excuse to eat the cake too since I'm done with that sketch. The next phase is to use a brush pen to fill up the dark areas. Having black and white and grey in-betweens help push and pull the objects in your sketch. These are called values. In the final sketch, I would love to see three different values represented by number one, a full black, number two, hatching or cross-hatching for greys, and number three, paper or leaving it blank for the light value. If you had taken your time to carefully plot your lines in phase one, you should be flying in this phase two segment. It should almost be an autopilot session where you are just filling in or colouring in values. Breathtaking. Once in a while, it's always good to be able to see things from another point of view, another angle. Uh, you get to appreciate where you are a lot more. So I'm really, really glad for this opportunity. Guys, if you like what I put out, remember, you know what to do. You can subscribe, like, and comment what you like about this session. And um, if you really want to, you can unsubscribe too. <laughs> but make sure you subscribe the next time when I put out the next video. I ordered a passion fruit cheesecake and that was actually delicious. I had a citronella punch in it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us um, this session. There are friendly vibes up here. Uh, the staff, they're, they're really kind. They didn't kick me out even though I spent like over two hours here. Thank you for joining us. Until the next episode, continue to wait for that notification. For that, you need to subscribe to this channel. Oops. On to the next sketching adventure. Until the next one, guys. Ciao, ciao.